Hello everyone, Virgin Octavians. This is the last African male vinyl left in the whole world. It's been guarded by the guards 24 hours of the day. Our country, Nepal, is the only country where you can find one horned rhinoceros, which is near extinction. With white Bengal tiger, uh, red pandas, jaguars, and Yeti food has been extinct. We don't want these animals to suffer the same fate. So, what's the better way then to generate awareness than to create a game which everyone can play? Ladies and gentlemen, 2017. Let me debut you about 2017. Earth, Mother Earth, what remains? All those barren lands. Because of massive amount of poaching, massive amount of warfare, all those innocent animals getting killed. Very painful. The last thing in 2017 is impossible to recover. However, however, scientists actually work on a possibility. Possibility of sending a cyborg back in time to actually stop the genius act of poaching. Ladies and gentlemen, we present you Nepal 9. We will be traveling back in time to actually stop the genius act we of poaching. We have basically designed our game where all those animals are being captured by poachers and uh, being placed at a uh, being, and being captured at a place. So the user has to actually have all those clues, follow all those clues and find the children and find the animals within and secure them by captivating the poachers. So here goes our gameplay. We have all those clues within the game and then interpret it and then play the game, follow the clue, find the next clue. So the game is not only about saving one of the species, one of the animals. It, it's about saving the whole ecosystem. So that's how we captivate the poacher. The surrenders, we leave him. That's how we maintain less violence uh, throughout our game. Using the Unreal Engine, Unreal Power uh, of development, we have actually uh, made our game with detailed animations detailed character definitions and Maya to render all those models. So this is how art looks like in 2008. So the next all this is like within the cinematic um, gameplay that is to find the drone. That will be actually shown after work. Okay. So we move we move along with the clues that will be provided within the map. We have those health bars which, which will actually be Marketable afterwards. Okay, so after we kill the kill the poses, we have uh, basically all those robots uh, giving information regarding where to go within the map, find the animals, and then secure them. We'll be a sort of you where the animals are captured so that uh, the explanation becomes much more clearer to you guys. We have designed three three of the um, weapons for now. We'll have many warcrafts uh, within the game, which will be actually marketable. Uh, from the store and mission is complete. Now the player moves to the next level of the game. We've made use of Microsoft Kinect in order to provide immersive personal gaming experience to the players. We can run, we can shoot, we can rotate using Kinect. We'd like to invite you all to our booth to participate in our game using Kinect. So we've also made use of Microsoft Azure in order to create user accounts and leaderboard. Uh, in our game. Audacity within our game. We have the custom made sound, we use the Audacity software. 
7,000 miles all the way from Nepal to Seattle to deliver a message. A message that every life is important. We'd like to inspire all the new generation, upcoming new generation, to uh, help us so, um, save these innocent lives. We believe that our game could be a voice to save these animals. Thank you. Thank you so much.